Hey everybody, today I'm finally going to be bringing you guys a review on the Alluring Aquatics Collection from MAC Cosmetics. I think we should start with the lipsticks first, so that's what this video will be all about. Now, um, some of you on Instagram were like, oh, how come you're not releasing it? Release it quickly, fast. Um, I felt like I need to distribute as much time to testing the lipsticks as I possibly can, because I would never want to misinform anybody. So, with that being said, some of these lipsticks lasted for eight hours, or four hours, or five hours, and and there's just not enough hours in the day to test them all in one day um, unless you want me to test them in my sleep and then that's not accurate so let's start there are five lipsticks in this collection and they all have that unique packaging we're gonna talk about the packaging the shades the lasting power everything I'm gonna to try to answer all your questions in the video but of course if you have more questions you can always leave me some uh, below so here are the five lipsticks this is what the tubes look like First of all, these tubes are teal, metallic tubes, and if you notice, they have little droplets all over them. These are supposed to make it look like it is constantly wet, and it really does give it that look. It does look like it's been sitting in the water or the rain. It looks like it just came out of the shower. It's very moist. Now, one thing, um, I thought I might not like it because it's, it's kind of like a gritty, grainy texture. The best thing I can liken it to is you ever try liquid sand or pixie dust from Zoya, liquid sand from OPI, etc. Kind of reminds me of like that nail polish whereas a normal nail polish would be smooth and soft but a, the, one of the liquid sands or pixie dusts would have that texture to it that's exactly what this reminded me of if I could compare it to anything the way it feels on my fingers it also helps me have more grip now um, one thing I really like about the packaging is because it's a shiny metallic um, you're gonna have fingerprints all over it. remember Riri if any of you got the Riri lipsticks it's just fingerprint city Ugh. but with the little droplets on it kind of camouflages any fingerprints or oil on your hand so I don't know I always feel like my lipstick tube is, tube is filthy and that makes me happy. I mean, of course I wipe it down and everything, but you know, metallic is always prone. Now one thing I noticed interesting is I thought, you know, okay, all the tubes are the same. The tubes are not the same, like I was looking at the pattern of the droplets and each tube is different, which means that they really went all out when they were like, alright, let's do this packaging. It wasn't just each tube is the same, they, each speckling is a little slightly different on each tube and I thought that that was really really nice um, for example this one has a dot right above the Mac name right there right above the M and then on this one no M has it right above it so I just thought that that was cool now of the five shades we have a few different formulas we have luster frost matte and cream sheen so if you're not a fan of you know one of those then you might want to skip these but at least you have a few different options and we have some shade options yes these shades are quite dupable in many ways but if you're a fan of the packaging that's why you'd want to pick them up Let's start. Let me get to swatching. So the first shade I'm going to show you is Siren Song, and this is a luster. It's a very, very sheer shade. Um, this is only going to slightly lighten your natural lip tone. So it's not. It's going to add a little bit of like whiteness, I guess. But it's just. It's going to slightly lighten and whiten your natural lip tone. So on my hand, you can almost not see it. But in the light, it's going to add that that glossiness, that luster. Now, if you want this to show up just more opaque, definitely pick up the What Comes Naturally lip pencil. And when you apply that over it, I have it in the original packaging. I didn't pick it up in the special edition packaging. But here we go. I'm going to swipe a little bit on. This is What Comes Naturally. And What Comes Naturally is a very, very nude color. As you can see, it took a few swipes for me to show you it on my hand. But on the lips, it's more apparent. And when you apply this over it, you get a shinier version of the lip pencil, but it's going to help the luster last so much longer. Luster lasts the least amount of time, about three to four hours of wear time, really depending, but again, it lightens the lip, and this is the kind of product you'd wear on your own if you're going for a very minimalistic look, but if you want something a little bit more um, showing, use it over the liner, but it's great for putting gloss on top of because it's so light, you can really put like clear water over it and get a really nice, bright, sparkly, almost nude lip. Now the next shade we have, also if you have very pigmented lips and you just want to tone down your natural lip, that would be another great option for picking it up, reason to pick it up. The next shade is Pet Me, comma, Please. Pet Me, Please, I guess. And this is a frost. Now this really just reminded me of the 80s. This would also be really great over what comes naturally. Now this was one swipe, two swipe opacity. Really depends. It took me two swipes on my lips. I have quite pigmented lips. If your lips aren't too pigmented, one swipe should be fine. And it's kind of like a frosty mauve color. Kind of leans a little pink, a little bit mauve-y, a little bit 
nude, a little bit beige, you know, it's got a lot of different dimensions. Shade is very reminiscent of the 80s, very, very frosty, very, so if you're not a fan of those kind of lipsticks, you might want to pass on this. Um, I couldn't think of a dupe for this, and I honestly haven't started to dupe these. I just wanted to bring my review to you guys first, and then I'll work on seeing what I can do. So pay, attention to, say, say, pay some mind to my Instagram. I'll probably try to post there, if I can, if I can find some dupes. But either way, it's a very frosty shade, and I found it very flattering on my skin tone. I'm, I think this shade would flatter a lot of different skin tones. But again, you'd have to be a fan of that frosty look on your lips because if you're not, you're not going to really like this one. But um, it does go with the whole aquatic look. The next shade we have is, let's see, let's see. We have two cream sheens and one matte. Let's do the matte. We have Enchanted One. So if you're a fan of the matte formula and you're like, well, I don't like cream sheen, I don't like luster, I want something a little bit more pigmented, you're in luck because you can pick up Enchanted One. It is a nude shade. It is a pretty common shade. Like, to me, it looked like something that, you know, would be easy to find. Uh, I personally like matte. That's two swipes on the lip. It's one swipe opacity. This lasted the longest. It lasted about eight hours, six, six to eight hours, depending on what I was doing. Um, the Pet Me Please, uh, I don't know, right in the middle, too. It lasted five, six hours. Um, again, it'll extend if you put lip lip liner under it. What comes naturally, again, goes great under this. This one you can use um, half red to kind of give it just a little bit more dimension. That came with the collection. You can use half red with this as a liner. It will add a little bit of dimension because it's a little bit darker, but they definitely go well together. Now, the next shade I have for you guys, now, the next two shades I have for you guys are cream sheens. Cream sheens are creamy. Um, they give you a little bit more glossy finish. Um, they're not too moisturizing. They're not like creamy as in moisturizing. They're just creamy as in how they feel on the lips. By the way, the matte is just a very typical MAC matte. It's not too moisturizing, not too drying. Um, it's not like a retro matte. Uh, Pet Me Please wasn't too moisturizing, not too drying. And so Siren Song, not too moisturizing, not too drying. That was kind of prevalent with all of them. Now, cream sheens, they didn't last too long on me. Cream sheens usually last like four hours, five hours, really depending on what I'm doing. And they last longer, of course, if they're over a liner. So the first one I'm going to show you is Goddess of the Sea. I'm wearing that today, but I'm wearing it over half red and with, um, let's see, I'm wearing it with uh, Modern Lure over it. So it's a cream sheen formula. You're going to get an opaque finish. Sorry, you're going to get an opaque finish. And it does remind me of some of the purples we've seen come out in the past. And I'm going to try to, again, I'm going to try to dupe that on my Instagram for you guys. And then the last one I have is Mystical. And Mystical is kind of like a bricky, pinkish, uh, red leans or brown and bad swatch. This was opaque with two swipes on the lips. Uh, same, I guess, with the hand. And this one was like a reddish, brickish, um, brown. I feel like it can lean a lot of different ways depending. Like with me, when I wear an orange, orange can be red on me. So this might actually look totally different. You might be more pink, might be more red. Really depends on your skin tone. And I don't want to give anybody the wrong information. So I'm just letting you know this is one of those colors you might want to swatch in store. Now, all of these shades are $17.50, which is much more expensive, at least to me. I mean, that's just a lot for a lipstick um, because of the limited edition packaging. Um, again, this is this collection was more for, I feel, more for the packaging. The shades weren't terribly unique. As you can see, they're very, like, nudes, you know, very more, very, very common colors, drugstore and high-end alike. So these aren't shades that you will have a hard time finding. So if you're not all about the packaging, you might want to skip. Maybe just pick up one, maybe if you don't have that color in your collection, by all means, get it. You might not, you know, if it's something you don't have or something you want to step out of, especially the frost. I feel like more people should be wearing frost. So if you don't have a, if you don't have a nice frost in your collection, you don't have a mauve pinkish frost, definitely pick this up and try some frost. And it definitely goes with the collection because it's supposed to reminisce, it's supposed to be reminiscent of the sea. And so I see that with like the light shades and then the purples and, you know, it's just very, very aquatic looking. Um, overall, I enjoyed the lipsticks overall. I didn't have the only one that I could say, uh, I can't say any didn't perform well because they all performed within their finish. Like some people will say, oh, Siren Song is just so sheer. It's supposed to be, it's a luster. So they really all performed onto what, you know, what's expected. But I just feel like 1750 for a sheer lipstick that only lightly covers your lips might be just way too much. Personal opinion. Um, if you'd like to pick them up, they will be on Nordstrom on the 19th, I believe, and then they will be in stores on the 22nd. They're going to be on Nordstrom.com, they're going to be on Macy's.com, they're going to be in those stores, they're going to be in the Mac stores, but they are all sold out, I believe, on the Mac.com, the MacCosmetics.com website. So, yeah. but you still have options to pick them up. Anyway, guys, I'm going to have picture swatches. Thank you so much for watching, and please follow me on Instagram. I'm Recycled Threadust. 
I just want to make a note that some of these lipsticks are a little bit unforgiving. Pet Me Please, for example, I would suggest you using a lip exfoliator or making sure that your lips have been exfoliated before you apply that because it will show any lip imperfections when you use it.